What's up, Heart and Hustle? Welcome back to another video. As you just saw in that clip, we're gonna be doing one supplementation shirt today. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take you into Creative Studio, which is the program that comes with the Sawgrass 800, and I'm pretty sure it comes with the 400 also. So once we're in Creative Studio, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the features that it has. And I'm not gonna go through all the stuff that it has because there's a whole bunch of stuff that it can do, but we're gonna run through some of the stuff in this video and then future videos we'll go through some other stuff because there's just a ton of stuff that you could do with this so let's go ahead and we're going to jump into the screen and check this out all right so if you look right here in the, my top right corner you're going to see cs which is the creative studio icon uh, once you get the sawgrass 800 you go through the process you set it up and you're going to get an icon like this right here so i already got it open I already logged into it with my email so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here to creative studio and then i'm going to go ahead and launch it once you launch it, it's going to open up another web page. And then what I'm going to show you here is just the different things that you could do. So you got the products, you got designs, images, text, clear, undo, redo, objects, select all, and then you got some zoom features here. But without, you can't do any of these right here without picking a product first. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a t-shirt. But like I said, this right here has so much stuff that you could do. So you got all this stuff here. Depending on what size, depending on what size paper you're using, you got all the different sizes you could do here. Uh, if you see this one right here, it says awards. Whenever we click it, a whole bunch of different ones come up, and then there's just trophy inserts, specialty shape plaques, rectangular rectangular plaques. Uh, let's you do bags. It has all these different bags you could do. Wallets, um, cash clips, or money clips bags everything if you look on here everything is gonna come white because as you know um, supplementation works best on white like their socks you're gonna do socks safety wear head and neck accessories so you got caps bandanas just ear warmers everything footwear accessories so you could do chanclas or flip-flops you could, and then we're gonna go. We're just gonna go to apparel. So then again, here you got arm sleeves, and you got youth sleeves. There's tons of stuff. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into what we did, like in the first clip, is we're gonna go to a basic short sleeve shirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click that. Once you get it pulled up, you got the back of the shirt. What I'm gonna be doing is the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click the size paper that I'm using. And I'm using the tabloid 11 by 17. Once I got that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then click the shirt. It's going to load the shirt up. And then I can um, upload images or designs. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to images. So once you're here, you got a whole bunch of different stuff here that's already uh, that comes with the com that comes with the program or you can upgrade you could pay a monthly fee and get different stuff. Basketball, you see you have all these right here and then you can add your own text around them to whatever you want to add to it. So you got those and let's go to football. So if you look here, you got the different, they're already pre-made stuff. Uh, if you click it, so here you got the pre-made stuff. We'll come down here, we'll find something uh, like varsity football. So once you got this design in there, once you got this design, you can always come over here to the right and change out the name of the team, change out varsity, junior varsity, um, whatever you want to change it to. And then you got this one here. And then you can add stuff to it if you want to add different things to these. Then you have the name of the high school. You can always go in there and change it. And then when you hit OK, going to load and then it's going to change it. So once you got it in there, you can resize it however you want. So just like that, just uh, different things that you could do. So we'll clear this one out. If, you if you're using this here and someone came to you was looking for, uh, they were getting ready to do like, say they were getting ready to do a 5k run. Let's see what they got in here for that. So we'll go to track and field. Yeah, there we go. So you got all these right here. They're already pre-made. Some of these, like I said, they're premium. You got to pay for them. But then if you look down here, these are some pretty cool ones. If you're going to do something like this. So if you're doing something like this, you could change it. Then 
then again resize make sure you click the right thing to resize whatever I'm just messing with it but then you can change class of 16 to 19 so change it cross country if you just wanted to put whatever whatever you want to put in there and then you have all the different the star each different star that's in there the burst so if I delete the burst you're gonna see it takes that away the circle the design the banner the star each individual star so that's just some of the stuff I wanted to show you and once you're done with it just come up here click clear or you can come here and undo everything that you just did and put it back so we're gonna go and we're gonna clear it out do now is I'm gonna go to my images and I'm gonna come over here let them load my images I'm gonna come here to this one right here Frank's logo I created this logo for a guy he's Frank's graphic apparel he's on Instagram go to his page check him out so I'm gonna be doing this one for him so what I did was he plans on ordering more shirts later on so what I did was I put this here and then what you could do is you can add text so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna add a text in here and then we're just gonna put I forgot what he wants I already created it but I'm gonna show you how you could do it so we'll just put we we'll just put hard, hard and hustle and then we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna put it in here so we got this I'm gonna resize it to fit within the paper so the boundary whatever paper you're using is it's gonna show you whatever paper you're using so I'm using the 11 by 17 like I showed you in the beginning so it preset it onto the shirt so once you got your font in here that you want you come down here to fonts you could change it so this one is a, is a so this one here doesn't put them in alphabetical order like it does in all the other programs it actually breaks them down which is okay I guess so we'll come here we'll find something like script then pick pick whatever one you want it changes it all right so once you got your font picked the way you want it you come over here you could click the envy you could do an outline we're not gonna do an outline to it you could do the warp text to it so we did something it doesn't do a preview as you're doing it so what you have to do is you have to actually go in there and then click OK for it to do it and it didn't do it art come here there it goes I was on the wrong one so there it is right there you could do different stuff like that and then with a the little ball you can rotate it All right so this one this is not the one I'm gonna be using so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna clear this out we're gonna hit OK to clear it out and I'm gonna come up I've already saved the design that he wanted so when I come over here to my designs it's already right here so I don't ever have to mess with it again it's right here it's what he wants so this is gonna go on the front and this is gonna go on the back but since it's one page I'm just gonna use the whole thing you don't have to waste two pages just do everything on one so that you're able to save some paper um, I just put it put this piece on top this on the bottom we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna read we're gonna go ahead and press this and then another thing you could do is you can click the logo you can come to object if you want to get it exactly center in the page you can uh, align horizontal or align vertical we do horizontal it's gonna put it in the middle we do vertical it will put it in the middle but we're gonna leave it right there so that's good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead once you get it like this you have it the way you want you come up here click print my design I just leave it the same just hit okay it's gonna say that my design already exists and then it says right here save complete click here to print so we're gonna click that and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna hit open there and then it's basically gonna show exactly what we're doing so uh, this is the material we're using a polyester fabric material if you click this it's gonna have all the different stuff that you could print on right so we're doing the polyester fabric we're using the text to print our paper we're using tray one I'm not using the bypass tray or you could come down here and auto select tray so I just have the one tray so I'm just using that one high quality make sure you mirror it because whenever you do this you also do it in reverse because the, the image goes facing down so if you forgot to click that and you left it like this and then you went to press it everything's gonna be backwards so make sure you hit the, the mirror button 
if you have more than one printer hooked up make sure you're connected to the sawgrass and the type of ink that you're using which will be on the cartons when you first get them so then whenever you're ready you're gonna hit print so we're gonna take this over there to the printer and we're gonna print this off alright so we're over here with the printer alright so we're over here with the printer I'm gonna show you uh, I'm using the 17 by 11 inch paper so here it is right here um, it's, with the, it's not the oversized tray that goes in the back of this printer right here but if you're using the regular paper you just flip these things and sl this front tray right here actually extends so if you weren't using the paper this long you would just slide it up uh, one thing you want to know is whenever you put this paper in here the dull the dark side goes up and if you look at this side you'll see it's brighter that's the sublimation side that you're going to use so whenever you put this in make sure you get it all the way in and then use this right here to cover that so and then I have this and it comes with this here because this paper is real long you don't want it to come out all the way and then it has some things here it shows you the colors right now it's an energy saver mode while it's an energy saver mode it does it self cleaning every once in a while so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead we're going to send this image over here like I said we're going to come here to print it said sent to printer it's processing it preparing to print and it's going to print our page for us so down here is telling us that it's processing the job it says some maintenance is in process and it's processing also on here is showing you the colors uh, your your black your cyan magenta and yellow how much you got in there then you got this waste collection unit over here which I guess some of the ink falls into that and when that thing gets full you gotta replace it So up here is showing us that it's sending its job in the process how much is how much of it is done and then it shows you the levels of your ink right there Here it comes, it's almost complete. So without that, so as you saw without this piece sticking out, it probably would have went over the edge. So here's our image right here. Like I said, this is going on the back and this is gonna go on the front. And then this, I will cut off and reuse this for a mug or something. Alright, so while the heat press is warming up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, like I said, I'm going to cut this piece off here. I can save this piece and use it for a mug later on. In the front, you want to make sure you don't scratch this, because if you scratch it, what it's going to do is whenever you press it, whatever you do, it is going to actually press on the shirt. So then I'm going to go ahead, take this piece off here. This is going to go on the back. So with an image like this, you can't fold it in half to see where the center of it's at. So what I usually do is I'll find the middle, which is this P right here. So what I do is I use my lighting that I have, hold it up to that. I'll put a line right there so I know where the middle is at. Then I'll do the same thing on the bottom so that I can line those two things up. We're gonna be pressing this onto one of these shirts right here. This athletic dry fit shirt. It's not a polyester shirt like these right here. It's a little bit, it's different, it's got a texture to it all right so what i did is i made a template of the shirt with the neck so i can get it straight so i put it on here i put parchment paper underneath here if you can see it right here and then this is what i use right here just great value from walmart parchment paper when i put the image on there i put it over it you can use regular paper you can use whatever you want this works for me so this is what i use and then just cut it off 
So this right here presses, so this sublimation presses at 400 degrees or 205 degrees Celsius for 50 to 60 seconds. So what I do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to press it for 55 seconds. You're going to take your image, you can see through it. I don't know if you guys can see through it, but I can see the word. Um, so what he wanted was grind never stops. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the back. I usually go where I find this right here, the seam of this, and I go in the middle of that. So that'll be by his shoulders or by her shoulders, whoever's going to wear this shirt. So I'll go there. I'll take my parchment paper. I'm going to put it right over the top of it. Um, I haven't bought the the heat tape yet. I need to order the heat tape. I just haven't bought it. So, oh, the first thing you want to do also is you want to press the shirt. I already had I had already pressed the shirt to take the moisture out of it. All right, so it's getting ready to open. So whenever you open this, you don't want to pop it up. You want to pop it, and then bring it up slowly. Once you bring it up, you're gonna see all the gases from the sublimation coming out of it so you're gonna let it do that it's it's gonna be very hot like I've seen people where they wear gloves I don't have any gloves but what I'm gonna wait for is for it to cool down now you can see that parchment paper that's underneath it let it cool down a little bit once it cools down you can pull that off and then you'll see your image so here's our image for the back now what I'm going to do is just flip this over since it's in this cardboard and then we're going to do the front. Let's see how hot it was. Alright so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the front. So what I do, like I said earlier, I put a mark down here on the bottom, a mark here on the top. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put this image on here. As you can see it's already starting to curl up on me. Once I get it where I want it, I'm not using a T-square. It's a little bit harder with this right here because of the, um, it's not transparent like vinyl. So once I get it into place, you can do the same thing, three fingers, however many you want. It's up to you. Make sure we got our image straight. Put my parchment paper over it. Got it into place. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to do the same thing. Press this for 55 seconds. All right, so it's getting ready to open. Again, it's already it's already released, but I'm holding on to it. Then we're going to let it come up slowly. See those gases get released. And then we we'll remove this. Let it cool down a little bit. Lift this up. Make sure whenever you lift this up, you take it straight up. You don't want it to bounce around. And then leave what they call ghosting on there. So here's what we got. Went from that. Looks like that. All right. So there's the image. It came out good. So I'm going to tell you anything. Whenever this thing is done, you don't want to press it again like that. You don't want to press it straight down because what it's going to do is it's going to leave ink up onto your iron up there. So do not do that. All right. So there's the front of the shirt right there. And then here's the back of the shirt. There's no ghosting on this, it's just it's a thin shirt, so it looks like it's bleed like it bled through, but it didn't. There's the front and then there's the back. Alright, so make sure you go to Frank's graphic apparel, check out his Instagram page, and if you want, it's up to you, you can follow him. If you got any questions on the process that I went through when I did this shirt, go ahead and leave some comments down below. If there's something I did that you do that you do different, uh, leave some comments down below and let me know. Uh, Gina Jill, follow her on YouTube. She's always doing stuff with sublimation, so she's been doing it a lot longer than me. So whenever I have a question, I send her a message on Instagram. So go make sure you follow her on Instagram and check her out on YouTube. All right, again, thank you guys for watching. And last I want to say, don't forget, 5,550 subscribers. We're going to be giving away 50 plus salt transfers. That's myself and top transfers. We're going to be doing the 12 by 18 inch sheet. You can gang it up, put whatever you want on there. All we got to do is get to 5,550. So again, thank you for watching. I'm Joe. This is Hard and Hustle Printing. And until next time, keep pressing.